It's going to turn black. So what color was Christ? According to the Bible. I don't know. I, the Bible just read it. The Bible just said it. The Bible just described his color. White as snow, no, they said his hair, his hair was white, was white as snow. But what about his skin color? <laughs>
That's why we don't come out here and just talk. Because I can die tomorrow, and then what's going to happen to the message? The message dies with me. But the Most High is eternal. His words are eternal. So nonetheless, if I were to die tomorrow, he'll still be here. And if he were to die the next day, he'll still be here. And guess what? The Most High is always going to leave a remnant of his of His prophets somewhere in the earth to teach the people. Can you tell me, tell me one thing? Oh, right, what you got? I cut me. I cut a white man. I cut a blue man. What color is going to be? The, the blood is going to be red. Okay. But now let me ask you a question. Does your blood determine your nationality? Huh? No, because you say, you say, you say, so not, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. In slavery, when the white man was chopping off our feet and our hands, why didn't he look at the blood and say, oh my God, they have red blood too. Let me stop. Why didn't he say that? Never been no you ain't, what about your forefathers? God is my forefather. All right. So, did you did you just appear out of thin air, or did you come through a woman? Did you come I through a woman? Through a womb. Okay. So now what let me ask. So 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 okay. So this is what I'm trying to ask you to get, get you to understand. Your forefathers were slaves in this country, correct? He brought me here. I'm asking you a question, Elder. Let's just deal with simplicity. I'm asking you, were your forefathers slaves, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, why were they slaves in this land? What was the cause? Because now let me ask you a question. Uh, we as black people, we just been not gonna let nobody, wait, 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 just understand. I did this for a reason. Us as black people, we not just gonna let nobody come and take us and throw us on a boat, bring us over here and whip us on our back. We not built like that. You know what? Somebody try to take us, they gonna have to see us. I ain't never seen a black man or a white man. What you, I ain't so, never seen so how you classify him? Let me hear how you how you classify him. Everybody. Everybody's what? All God's chosen people? All God's Are you sure about that? I promise you. You sure? Let me get Leviticus 20 and 26. I want you to understand this something. Let me wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. When you let's say, let's say you had, let's say for instance, you had you was, you was having a dinner, right? And you separated a plate for yourself. Is that plate for everybody or just for you? That plate was supposed to be for everybody. No, no, I asked the question. You having a dinner, but you prepare, you prepare a plate just for yourself. Everybody. So if somebody came in the house and ate your plate and then you came home from work thinking that plate was gonna be there, you gonna be mad, right? No, I don't think it's a <laughs> hey, I know Judah lying. I know Judah is lying, Shab. So what? Shab, why they got a lie? You want to know why I know this? Because my beloved brother right there, who's a Judah, is not having that. <laughs> when he finds his food in at the school, he be having a fit. <laughs> That's how I know. <laughs> That's how I know he lying, man. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter twenty and verse twenty-six. Read. And ye should be holy you unto should be me. what? Holy unto me. You should be separate unto me. Read. For I the, the most high am holy. The most high said we should be separate. Separate from who? Separate from what? Separate from the other nations. Because we're not like them. Because guess what? I'll tell you this right now. Let the let the police catch you, right? Yeah, Wait. <laughs> let, let the police catch you. Wait, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Let's say, let me, uh, I'll put it this. I know, I know you can't get away from this. Let's say it's you and a white man in court. Both of y'all are being charged with the same thing. Who do you think is going to do more time? Me. Hey, why, 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 why? Because of the skin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why they not considering the blood? What happened to the red blood? <laughs> the red blood is still out. But the judge ain't Exactly. You want to know why? Because you are children of, you the children of Israel, man. The Most High God is the one who really deals your punishment, even though it might come through the judge. The Most High is really the one that did. Cause guess what? When you in captivity, it's not supposed to be pleasant. He got the last say so. He got the last say so. But what did he say in the first place? We talking about the last say so. We worrying about what's gonna happen in the end times. What did he say from the beginning? If you believe, give me Deuteronomy twenty eight and one. If you believe in me and walk with me by faith, I will stand with you all the way. But Elder, let me, okay, let me, let me ask you a question. Let I me, know, wait, 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 can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you eat pork? Hell yeah. All right. Just walk with me. Is it against God's laws to eat pork? No, not that. I'm not. Okay, let me get Leviticus 11 and 7. Hold on. 
I just want to use this as a teaching moment. I asked you a question. You answered it to the best of your ability, right? Now, me knowing what the scriptures say, I now have an obligation to inform you that what you just said was incorrect. Now, you can take it two ways. You could be emotional and say, you can't tell me nothing because I'm twice your age. Or you can say, you know what, young man? Teach me something I don't know. That's showing humility, which is what we should do unto the Most High God. Because I'm not showing you something that I wrote. I'm showing you something that came out of the words of the mo out of the mouth of the Most High God. Read the Book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. Read and the swine and the what and the swine. The swine is the pig, right? The swine is the pork. Read though he divide the hook uh -huh. and be cloven footed. Read yet he chew not the cud. Read he is unclean to you. He's what? He is unclean to so, you. So that animal is unclean to you because when you read further up into the chapter, verse one. An animal, in order for it to be considered clean, which means it's edible, it has to have three things. It has to have a cloven foot, a parted hoof, and it has to chew the cud. The pig, it only has a cloven foot and a parted hoof, but it doesn't chew the cud. Thus, it's unclean to you. Let's see how we deal with unclean animals. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Say it again. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So since the pig is an unclean animal, we are forbidden to eat it. Thus saith the laws of God. Now, if you're a God-fearing man, are you going to continue to eat pork? I'm going to eat pig feet. Now, okay, let me ask you another question. I just showed you the word of God. Now, I asked you if you were going to obey it or disobey it. You said, you basically said you're going to disobey the words of God. So now, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to ask you another question. Do you fear God? All right, give me Sirach 2 and 15. Now, Elder, I'm going to let you, you know I had to set eat. you up real if quick. You don't eat, I had you to, gonna die. But you're not supposed to eat pork. Oh, I'm going to show, but wait, 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 Elder. Oh, I'm going to show you how the series of questions line up with. I'm going to show you why I'm asking you these questions in this way. Read. Read, read. The book of Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 15. Read. They that fear the Lord uh -huh. would not disobey his word. It says, They that fear the Lord would not disobey his word. So now, Elder, I asked you if you fear God, you said yes. But you also are clearly going to go and disobey the words of God containing the animal that you should eat, man. but you don't have to eat pork you trying to tell me pork is your only the pork is the only thing you can eat you said what so 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 so, so what about chicken what about chicken so you can eat chicken you don't have to eat pork because elder you want to know why I'm trying to tell you if you don't mind me asking did you lose? Did you lose your leg through an injury, or was it a health? Yeah, a health? I got hit right there. On that you got a hit right there. Now, a lot of people, they they have to get their their their, their limbs amputated because they might have they might have like uh a, like a severe uh disease coming from the food that they've eaten. I'm so a so a uh, you a doctor. Now, why do you think that? Why I do you think? No, wait, 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 Time out, time out. Why why is diabetes so prevalent in our communities? Because we continue to eat foods that are forbidden by God, and God is punishing us for doing so. Elder, I know you all. I know you heard this all the time. We always say, "I want to make enough money because I want to break the generational what." No, no. Okay, so we. But okay, a lot of our a lot of our people, they work hard to break the generational what. What's the what's the fill in the blank? The generational what? The generational curse, right? Do we talk about that all the time in our community? I want to break the generational curse. You agree with me, Elder? We say that a lot. But now, why are the curses upon us in the first place? Can you can you tell us why is it that we walking around in the hood, everybody drunk, everybody doing drugs, everybody just walking around like they don't have no sense? What's okay, going on? Okay, now you answer this question. Okay. Where did the corona come from? Where did the corona come from? What's, what's, um, Salah, Cap. What's the, what's the one that's Sirach? The, the most house in the place? 16 and verse 8. Give me, give me Sirach 16 and verse 8. Second Andrew 16 and 8. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right now where the corona came from. Second Andrew 16 and 8. Yeah, come. Well, here it is, Elder. Here it is. Here. All right, go ahead. Second Andrew chapter 16 and verse 8. Read. The mighty Lord uh -huh. sendeth the plague. He did what? Sendeth the plague. The Most High sent the coronavirus in the earth, man. God sent the coronavirus. Yes. And you, and you and wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. Let me ask you a question. Does God kill? No. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 39. You understand every question that I'm asking yeah. you, I can prove in the Bible, right? 
I read the Bible all the time. Okay, so now I asked you if God killed. You said no. Let's mm. get the Bible back up your answer. God don't kill. Let's see. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 39. Uh huh. Wait, see? before I read this, people cross the street. Do y'all think God killed? He, okay, brother said yes. What about you in the green hat, sir? You think God killed? You don't think God killed? Let's see what the Bible says. Read. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. Read. See now that I, even I, am he. Uh-huh. And there is no God with me. Read. I kill. I do what? I kill. I do what? I kill. God say he kills. Read. And I make a lie. Read. I wound. Uh-huh. And I heal. Read. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The most high God say he the one who kills. So when it's your time to go, there's nobody who can there's save you from that. Nobody. Exactly. So God does God kill. God. But God does kill. Do you understand that now? God kills and he make a lie. You think that something can happen in the earth and God like, oh, I didn't know that was happening. God ain't gonna right? kill nobody. It just said that he did. Do you, are you familiar with the story of Noah? Are you Are you familiar with it? What happened? Didn't he flood the earth? Wasn't it people on the earth? Didn't God, they die? God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That, that's not the same thing we're talking about, Edda. Yeah, I asked you a specific question. Oh, okay, and who was he speaking to when he said that? No, he was not. He was speaking to the children of Israel, man. Right. But, that, but see, Edda, it's nothing wrong with that because let me get Acts 17 and 30. It's nothing wrong with not knowing. The only thing is that our people have a problem with is taking instruction because they feel like you shouldn't have any more knowledge than they do. Well, who wake you up in the morning? The Most High does. Okay. Who is the Most High? The Most High is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There it is. The creator of heaven and earth, the God of Israel. There it is. But if you don't serve that God, then you're yeah. serving an idol, man. Let me get Psalm, drop that. Let me get Psalm 96 and 5. I hear you. You got to understand, man. The only difference between the men standing up here and everybody else is that we received the instruction and applied it. We're going to be coming out here for about two months. Who's applying the information that's coming out? 